this is this is part of what makes me connect with our audience just by placing a couple of things on set that is me that that means something to me it gets the audience involved um and and one of the things that that we're definitely going to talk about is is how to just open yourself up and you know this is built creating a brand evangelist and and sometimes you just got to focus in on that one person so let's forget about building a million brand evangelists and let's create one brand evangelist to begin with and that first thing that you got to do is create the no like and trust factor and so part of that is by is making them feel like a family member making them feel like they know you not just the host on camera right like so that's that's part of of what you have to do as a video host um, in terms of whatever type of video you're creating and so everybody every single one of my audience members knows that I love robots like that's just my thing I love bacon and I love robots <laughs> So, um, you know, I, I wear bacon shirts or I'll do these silly things that integrate my personality into the videos. And so if I'm telling a story on camera, um, I will potentially bring robots into the mix or I will talk about bacon and I'll find ways to put that personality into the stories that I'm telling on camera. And of course, we all know stories work, right? So like that's... It's kind of the, the method that you want to use anytime you're doing whatever kind of video that you're creating. Um, but yeah, so even if it's as simple as your dog, and that's another thing that, that I do often. So I'll just, if I'm, if I'm talking about uh, why you need to uh, send email newsletters out in order to create more sales, um, I will work in my dog, <laughs> like, you know, somehow, some way, Hey, my dog, Abby, the Chihuahua loves when I do this or, you know, and somehow make it a part of the story. Right. So it's any, any part of your personality or your personal life. And that's where I think most people miss is that they don't open their personal life up to the audience. Um, and it doesn't, you don't have to talk about super personal things that nobody wants to know about, you know, like in the bedroom or whatever, like nobody needs to know that stuff. But yes, when you, when you bring in your personal life and you, and you get vulnerable and, uh, you are completely 100% human mistakes and all, then that works wonders in creating those evangelists. All right. So uh, when it comes to you know getting that one brand evangelist that you're talking about there, what do you think are kind of like the, the key criteria uh, in terms of what you should be doing uh, every single time when you're, when you're creating an online video? Um, talk to a single person. <laughs> so um, just, just uh, before I got on this, I got an email from somebody um, and she's, She's in our funnel, so she's getting, um, you know, a series of emails. And she re responded back, and she was like, hey, I really want to thank you for the content. I, um, I know that I'm not the only person you're sending these emails to. Like, I know that intellectually, but I really feel like you're talking just to me. And so when you take that approach, you use words like you instead of, you guys or y'all i'm from texas um <laughs> all right used to it but um you know if you if you take that approach of just speaking to one single person that actually helps tremendously in building that relationship all right so talking to one specific person making him feel like they're connecting with you. You're talking personally just to them. And this is, you know, almost unique just for them. It makes people feel special, right? Absolutely. Right. They, they feel special. They feel like you're creating this, you know, for them um, when it resonates. And it's, it's going to resonate if you're, if you're speaking to the right audience. Um, it, when it resonates, it resonates at, you know, 10 times more of a power, power, um, 
it, it's 10 times more powerful is how I should have phrased that. Um, <laughs> and, and it, and it creates that, that connection, that bond a lot better. And one of the other things that you can do is ask for their opinion. Um, just flat out say, what do you think? Let me know. Reply back to this email. Leave a comment on this video. Uh, you know, do do something. Tell them. You know, one of your call to actions should always be asking for their specific opinion, and then take that to the next level and actually use some of their opinions. Right. So if you get a hundred comments, you're not going to be able to to use all of them, but choose one or two, and on the next video or on a video that you do about, you know, like a follow-up video or something, you can say, hey, uh, you know, so-and-so, Michelle just said this, and you can call them out. You can give them special attention. And some people worry that by calling one person out, you're leaving out the rest, but it's, it has the opposite effect. What it actually does, in fact, is it tells people you are actually paying attention. It tells people you are listening and it will encourage more of it because, hey, if, if I don't know why I'm gonna say this, but Jay Leno, first person that popped into my head, if you, <laughs> you watch Jay Leno's show and he were to call you out or at least somebody else, that would be an amazing thing, right? So you actually would respond. So if he, if he said, you know, somebody else's name and you're like, oh, wow, he actually reads his tweets or whatever, um, then you would be more likely to engage. You would be more likely to have that conversation online and participate uh, in an effort or a hope or, you know, this, this slim hope that exists that you could be called out as well. And it's not even a conscious thing. It just kind of happens naturally. <laughs>